Hello, my name is Christian Herr, and welcome to another course with me on full stack web development with Django 2 and Angular 8. Now, here's a little bit about me and my background. I am an author and a web instructor. I teach computer programming and full stack web development at various institutions. My career in web development spans over 20 years. And I've built many websites and applications using various web technologies throughout my career. I do enjoy reading and, you know, going to forums and contributing to the open source community as well as learning new technology. So those are one of my favorites. I also have a couple of courses available on pub.com. So please do feel free to go and check them out. Okay, I think that's about me. So let's see what this course is all about. Now, in this course, we're going to learn everything that you need to know how to build a dynamic web application using Python and Django framework for the back end. Then we'll be using Angular 8 for the front end. We'll start off with the first section by setting up the development environment. We want to make sure that all the tools that we need are installed and configured. Next, we will create a Django project. I will also configure routers, views, and use the Django REST framework to prepare our app for the Angular client to consume some RESTful web services. Then in section three, we will be configuring and setting up a database system. We'll use the SQLite system, and you will be learning how to connect Django to the database to store data and track data. And in section four, we'll dive into building the front end using Angular 8 to consume Django-based RESTful APIs. We'll be creating templates, components, modules, and processing form data and updating the database system. And in section five, we're going to explore the Django's built-in admin interface and see how it can be used to interact and manipulate data directly with the database system. So that is pretty cool. And then finally, in section six, we're going to explore Django 3 new features in this section, we're going to look at some of the new features in Django 3.0. All right, so you want to make sure you have the following skills, okay? You make sure you have a pretty good understanding of web development. Some basic knowledge of Python and database systems are really helpful, but you want to also make sure you are familiar with Django framework. I'm not going to go into very detail about Django, but you should have some idea what that is, and also Angular for the front end development. Please make sure you have some understanding of the following technologies and the architectures and paradigms, especially the MVC and MVVM. And last but not least, you also want to make sure you have a good and comfortable experience using the command line interface. We'll be using that quite extensively throughout the course to install packages and so forth. And last but not least, these are the extra information that you should have to make sure you have a pretty good experience learning this course. A smart computer with internet access at all time. Pick and choose your favorite IDE. I will be using Visual Studio Code, one of the most popular IDEs out there now. But there are a host of them that you can choose and use. And JetBrains has some really nice tools, but they are commercial products. So if you can have access to them for free, by all means, check them out. You also want to make sure you have the Node.js version 10.9 or higher. That is required for Angular 8. So I will be installing that. And the following tools are just minimum requirements. So you make sure you have Python at least 3.5 and, of course, Angular 8.